Howdy. How's it going? You guys thought I was gonna say what's up guys, but I didn't. So uh tricks on you. But uh welcome to your twenty-eighth Android tutorial and we're gonna get into again some more graphics. I know we worked with uh Canvas and all that good stuff in the previous few tutorials, but the problem with that is we extended the view. And you don't actually want to do that because the view handles a ton of things already. It handles all the graphics, or I mean, I'm sorry, the user interface and all that stuff. So if we add on top of it the graphics that it has to process, it's just going to slow down our application. It's not going to be as efficient and it's going to kill processing power. So what we actually want to do is we want to set up a whole new thread to handle our animations. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new class to kind of show you guys this example of having a own thread, uh, a new thread to handle some of the draw methods and all that stuff. And what we're going to do is we're going to create this class called uh, surface view example extends activity and we threw in the on create method. Something you guys done a few times, nothing too new there. You know, we're going to set up something, you know, just like our view maybe. We're just going to call this view or v, something like that. And again, it's like, hey, what's our view? We don't know what that is. Um, so we have to create that class. So what we're going to create this class is within our surface view example class. And the previous way that we did it, we create a whole new class and then we just, you know, create a new object of that class. It's pretty much the same concept, um, but we're just going to create this class within our surface view example class. So we're just going to say public class and we're going to call this our view. Actually just to be more accurate um, we should do our view or more um, you know some people don't really like when when you don't have a class name be uppercase. So just change that to our view and we're going to say our view extends something called the surface view. So think again when you guys are doing animation it's not what's on the inside that counts it's on the surface. It's kinda like uh, kinda like with women. Um, no I'm just kidding just kidding but then we just add our import here surface view and then it's like hey you gotta imp uh, you know add a constructor so we're just gonna hover over here again and say add a constructor that takes in a context. That looks pretty familiar right? And then what we want to do is we want to have this class basically be like a thread of its own. So again, if you guys remembered, let me see if I can pull it up. I think it's main. Yeah, we created this thread like this. Um, and we use this run method. Um, we created this run method and, uh, and all that good stuff. But what we can also do is we can just say, if we want an object of this class to be a thread, we can just say... Uh, implements um, runnable implements runnable and uh, then we just have to add the implement methods or unimplemented methods I'm sorry and then we have that run method so basically this is the same as a thread you know this in this uh, basically this view this surface view is just going to be a thread now and you know, here's the run method. When we call it to run, it's going to go do whatever is within, uh, whoops, within these brackets. But we also want the thread to be able to, um, you know, be stopped if our phone gets a phone call and we call the on pause method. So we're also going to set up a public uh, void pause, and then um, just go, you know, set up your brackets and everything, and also public void. Uh, resume and uh, you know there we go we have a few more methods our thread can do and and so now we're gonna go again up here within our on create method and again it's gonna be pretty similar to what we did previously we're gonna set up our object that we just created um, that's a our view object we're gonna set this equal to new our view and pass in the context of this class and then we can just you know do set content view to v um, and again we aren't, we haven't really done much this is still pro this is going to crash when we run it um, but you know that's basic setup again we're just setting up a new r view object which is going to call this class right here that we just created which is going to be a thread that's going to handle our canvas we're going to 
draw that canvas and we can do all that stuff that we want to do um, and again we created this pause method and resume method that, again they don't mean any mean anything right now but we can also set those up uh, for the future before we get so we're just gonna right click go to source hit override and we're gonna go on pause and throw that method in there and also on resume and again these are methods that are defined by the activity class that we extended so um, these are actual methods that have some stuff defined in them already unlike our pause and our resume method which doesn't mean anything right now but what we're gonna do is we're gonna say uh, you know we have this view set up here you know we can say within our pause method we can just say v dot uh, pause because this is the method that we set up down below so it's going to call that method when we go and pause and then we can define this method to like pause or thread or you know get rid of our thread however we want to handle it and then we can also say v dot resume within this method so again these don't really mean anything but we can utilize using the activity class that we're extending for a surface view example and you know that's basically all there is to it um, and again we still have to set up everything within here um, but again this is what's going to handle all of our drawing without it affecting um, you know the actual activity uh, you know using the in user interface and all that other stuff that this has to process um, like we did when we extended the view it's still like kind of intertwined with that now we're setting up a whole new class that's going to be a new thread we can run that thread we can pause the thread and we can resume the thread which we call those methods again within the on pause and on resume methods so I know there's already a lot of code there but hopefully it's not too confusing yet guys um, or hopefully it's not confusing at all and uh, that's just the basic setup for the surface view example um, again we haven't really done anything so make sure you watch the next tutorial and again thanks for you guys' support like thumbsing up and all that good stuff um, definitely appreciate that uh, and sorry if I was kind of tired in this tutorial and probably the next one it's like 4 in the morning so I just wanted to get some out there for you guys and I'll catch you guys later have a good one